Comparing documents in Word is useful when you're juggling different versions of the same file. When I was in law school, I didn't organize my files the same way that I do today now that we have the modern convenience of version tracking, and I was probably too sleep deprived to think beyond saving my file each night with a different name. When you're writing an essay, ideally the quality of your prose and the clarity of your ideas improves from draft to draft but this isn't always the case. When you're studying a complex topic like law, sometimes you write a fair amount of something that sounds pretty good and later realize you need to delete your work and redo it because your analysis was incorrect or not as persuasive as it could have been. This can also be useful if you have to make sense of files that you recover after a data crisis like a failed hard drive. In other circumstances, you might possess numerous versions of a file that your colleagues use as a precedent that have become inconsistent. One more way this can be useful is to double check that someone has not modified an important document that you shared with them, such as a legal agreement. To compare two files, click on the review tab and then compare. Open the older of the two files on the left side. And the newer one on the right side. If different people worked on these files, and if their accounts were set up properly, you would see their names alongside their revisions. In the version of Word that I'm using, with the display options I have enabled, I can see a combined document that shows text from the older document with a horizontal line through it to show that it does not appear in the newer version. The underlined words have replaced this text. For example, I can see that after the duty to accommodate, I had originally written, up to the point of undue hardship, is a naughty legal concept which flows from the fact that employer discrimination, and so on. But I later decided that originates would be more succinct. When I used to do this kind of writing regularly, I had a habit of writing notes to myself inside my document. This text that begins with the arrow was originally inside of the document when I was outlining my ideas. If I were to look at only the finished file, I wouldn't see these details. Also notice that information about how the document was formatted is preserved. Even though this display might remind you of working in track changes mode, it is not necessary to have worked in track changes mode to compare versions of a document the way I have demonstrated in this video.